Hello everybody. In the last video, we prepared our Laravel views. In this video, we are going to create a controller and actually display the information for our database to our website. So let's go back to our terminal and create a controller. If you type php artisan make semicolon controller, then space, and then the name of your controller, I will just call this home controller. Hit enter, and then the controller was successfully created. If I go back to the Visual Studio Code and check my app HTTP controllers folder, I'll be able to see my controller here. Okay, one thing that I would add is the Voyager's posts model so that we could use the posts provided by Voyager directly. I'll just paste that here and save it. And another thing that I would do is create an index method which would be used to display the blog posts on our home page. Okay, inside the home controller class, just type public function index, then open and closing bracket, and then curry bracelets. Then just type return view, and then the name of the view. I'll just put home semicolon. And if we go back to our routes file, and let's update the home route, let's just get rid of this closure and let's bind this route to our method. If we put home controller, which is the name of our controller, then add and the name of our method. Save that and go back to our browser, hit refresh, and we are seeing the absolute same result as currently all the method does is to return the home view. Let's go back to our home controller and add some more code in there. What we'll do is just get the posts. To do that, let's first create a variable which would be equal to posts and let's get out of all of the posts. So just type post followed by the static get method. What this would do is just return a collection for all of the posts that were created in Voyager. Then what we need to do is actually pass that collection to our view. To do that, just add a compact statement in your return. So just type compact and then the name of the variable. Save that. Now we are ready with the controller. So let's go back to our view so we could actually display the posts on our home view rather than showing those static posts here. So at the end, what would happen is the information here would be put up from the database and displayed on our website. The posts that would be displayed can be added through Voyager. So just go to Voyager, then posts. And as you can see, we have four posts. So we want those four posts to be displayed on our home page. If I go back to the home view and delete the hard-coded posts and leave just one, which we would use to loop through Okay, I'll just put a for each here and do posts as post. The posts variable is the one that we are passing back from our controller. So at the end, I'll just need to close the for each with a end for each. Save that and go back to our browser. As you can see, we now see four entries of the hard coded post. But what we want to do is actually display the title of each post. So to do that, we need to use the name of the column from our database. If you go to Voyager, then database, then click on posts. Here you can see the structure of your posts table. As you can see, the name of the column that we want to use as our title is just called title. To display that, you need to add the curly bracelets here, then the post variable, followed by the name of the column, which is just title. Just save that. And another thing that we want to do is actually add the short description here. Let's see what's the name of the table. It's called excerpt. So copy that and let's update that in our view again, just as we did for the title. And maybe another thing that we want to do is get rid of this posted by and just leave it posted on. And let's grab the created at date. Just as we did for the title, we would just need to use the created at column. Okay, let's save that and head back to our browser.
and this seems to be working. We're actually seeing the photos that were added in Voyager directly on our front end. As a test, let's create a new post. I'll just call this my first post. And let's add a short description. As you can see here, you can add a lot more things. For this first test, I'll keep it simple and just create this post. Now, if I go back to my home page, I should be able to see this new post displayed automatically on my home page. Okay, seems like it's here. It's the last post, but we don't want to do that. We want to have the newest posts on top. What we need to do is go back to our controller and add an order by statement here. So let's order this by the created at date. And let's put this as descending. Save that, go back to our browser. Oops, seems like I forgot something here. Okay, that looks better. Now go back to our browser, refresh, and this seems to be working. We are seeing our newest post on top, followed by all of the other posts. Okay, and this is going to be pretty much it for this video. We now have our home controller ready and we are displaying our posts on our home page. In the next video, we are going to work on a new method which would display just the single posts on separate pages. I hope that you're finding this useful so far and if you have any questions, make sure to let me know.